This is new script of Blizzard amazing hate speech of Greta Thunberg about Donald Trump, how dare you. The only thing that matters to me is the survival of this nation, and I will not allow a madman with delusions of grandeur to take it from us. We are better than you, and we will be victorious. Sigh, this man has no understanding for our way of life. He does not understand that the people who work hard in this country deserve respect as much as anyone else. We do not need more politicians telling us what to do, we can make our own decisions about how best to run things. And we will win because we are the American people and we will win. Singing, we are the American people and we will win. The main character is an unemployed loser who's been living off his mom since he was 16 years old. He gets fired from his job at a fast food restaurant due to poor performance. He goes home and spends all his money on alcohol and drugs. His mother dies leaving him a broken man. He decides to go out and start getting drunk, doing drugs, having unprotected sexual encounters with women, whatever it takes to get high. Eventually he ends up in jail where he meets another guy named Mikey who tells him about a cheap motel room for $10 per night. They spend the night there but something happens when they leave the motel room. Of course that's just a basic outline. I'm really looking for suggestions to make it interesting. The only thing I don't want it to be is a cliché story where the main character becomes a drug addict and dies in jail at age 34. Also, if anyone is interested, please check out my new post on R, writing in which I try to organize my thoughts on writing, or something. I'm considering writing a book about people who write books about writing books. It would be postmodern, of course. On one hand, it feels like I'm just rehashing the same ideas over and over again. But on the other hand, it feels like I'm working through the proper way to address certain issues. Maybe that's just my rationalization for not being original, or maybe it's a good writing exercise. Either way, here's the outline. Jane is a high school dropout who works at a coffee shop. Her high school was in a lower income area, but the coffee shop is in a middle to upper middle class area. She's dating a guy who's also a high school dropout and works as a line cook at a nearby restaurant. He has a drug problem and is frequently abusive towards her. On the surface, this isn't really all that interesting. If anything, the only thing that makes this scenario different from 90% of other poor girl gets by in life stories is that her job involves making coffee. But this is where it gets good. Jane has an abusive father who is an alcoholic. Her father never cared for her and would always end up drinking all his salary, causing them to go hungry for days at a time. Despite this, Jane always had big dreams of becoming something one day. She loved reading books and tried to write a few short stories of her own. Jane's mother left her father while Jane was still a young girl. She didn't leave because she was opposed to alcohol or drug abuse. She didn't leave because he was an abusive man. She left him because she met another man at her part-time job who was a writer. He had published a few novels and was working on his third. He was also married to a woman who didn't appreciate his genius. When Jane's mother left, she took Jane with her. The writer husband then filed child support papers for Jane, which her father grudgingly accepted because he didn't want to deal with the hassles of custody at the time. Jane's mother soon realized that her new boyfriend was not a man of strong moral character. He would often pressure her into having sexual relations. As a result, Jane grew up in an environment that was slightly more promiscuous than other girls her age. The boyfriend soon grew tired of Jane's mother and began to concentrate on his own writing. With this latest book, he felt he had finally made it as a great writer. It was only after he received massive praise and bestseller lists that he realized maybe he didn't write it at all. Jane's mother, realizing what a lying sack of crap she was married to, left him. Jane was then faced with the decision of either letting her mother struggle as a single parent or move in with her father, who now that he was off alcohol and drugs had decided to try to better himself. She decides to move in with him and finds out how abusive he still is, except now it's emotional abuse. He makes her feel worthless on a daily basis. One day, Jane's father comes across some of her writing and reads it. He's surprised by how good it is and realizes Jane might have a better future than being a barista at a coffee shop. He encourages her to apply for a creative writing major at the local college. She applies and gets accepted. 